Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So I've gotten, surprisingly, a number of emails with the question being posed, Brady, should I be hitting a buggy whip forehand on every single forehand? And I think the reason they were kind of flooding in is because we just watched a ton of Nadal at the French Open and all the tournaments leading up and he's just dominating people and he hits that shot a ton. But he is kind of like a rare breed. The guy just thrives with his spin. Um, so there's definitely situations to use a buggy whip in, which I'll get into. But for me, you know, if I'm, if I'm hitting a buggy whip, and I think for you guys out there too, it's just too often that, you know, I go ahead and I hit a buggy whip swing, and while the spin is great, I don't control the depth of my ball very well, meaning, I love to get depth with my ground strokes on the forehand, and I feel like the buggy whip, because it comes off the racket with such thin contact, the thing's moving straight up the back of the ball, it a lot of times produces almost too much spin to the point where, yeah, the bounce jumps, but a bounce that's jumping inside the service box on the opponent's side of the court now just kind of sits up for a routine shot for them, standard baseline ball. So. The other thing I don't necessarily love about the idea of using a buggy whip all too much is injury, because it is such a fast, spinny swing. I mean, you guys see Nadal, he's just got, you know, cannons for arms now. But most of us that are trying to swing so quick and create that much spin, if we were to hit that, you know, kind of repetitive button on that forehand over and over, I feel like the shoulder could go, I feel like the elbow, the wrist, you know, who's, who's to say if you're playing enough tennis out there that a buggy whip forehand every single time at an aggressive speed is not going to injure us pretty quickly. All right, so, you know, angles. Sometimes I like to throw a buggy whip in if I just need to steady myself because I do definitely feel like I can swing confidently at it. I like to see it roll up the center of the court sometimes, just get my bearings. Top spin lob, another good example for a time we use buggy whip. But you guys can feel me kind of searching out those buggy whip times, which definitely answers the question, no, we should not be using it on every single swing, okay? Um, I thought that that was probably a pretty simple idea, but I did get enough emails about it that I wanted to kind of dispel you know, the idea that you guys should be going out there and just trying to go Nadal on every forehand. I think it's a pretty bad idea, to be honest, okay? So I hope it was helpful. Uh, please click like below this video, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. And also, check down below me in the description of this video. You'll find the link to three free courses we put together at Daily Tennis Lesson. I think you'll find those great as well. All right, so until next time, be well. We'll see you soon.